excited to do something that was this transformational that somebody a coach that I trusted so much um, put her weight behind so um, I moved to the spiral with you know with Leah I went through the first round of the spiral and that was amazing and transformational and then I got to the second round of the spiral and I'm going to explain a little bit about you know what the spiral is there's seven levels there's you know these different pieces to it but um, I would say at the second meeting hey Dominic at the second meeting of you know the second session of doing the spiral with her I sort of uncovered that this was completely life-changing um, I was and I'll get into that I want to talk a little bit about my story after I tell you guys all the amazing things that it has done for me um, the spiral is this facilitated energy work and it is probably the first program I've ever been in that was such a high investment it wasn't you know it's not a super high investment but it was a high investment for me at the time I had done a lot of yoga work and that was a high investment um, but yoga is a little bit more tangible yoga is you know it's it's obviously amazing in its own right yoga for me was this acceptable journey so by becoming a yoga teacher um, you know I love yoga and I love what it's done for my body but energetically is where I really fell in love with yoga um, so my yogic journey became this energy journey but yoga is kind of I think there's a gentleman out there doing that on but yoga the energy journey of yoga was what I fell in love with and that was the piece that kept me coming and yoga is sort of a more acceptable form of um, you know doing energy work there's a lot of yoga teachers a lot of yoga schools and yoga is this you know it's something that um, it's acceptable to do um, it's acceptable to pay a lot of money for it's well known it's been around it's been established um, the spiral was something that was new for me the spiral was completely energy work and it was an investment of my time an investment of my of money and an investment of myself spiritually energetically in all the different ways and you know I did jump right in because I definitely trusted my coach and she really recommended it for me and what I found was that jumping into this was my first foray into sort of jumping into these energy modalities um, headfirst and I found that these types of transformational modalities have really changed my life, have changed my trajectory, have made me, have just like launched me into this whole new human being. So, you know, a couple of things that have changed for me since I went through the spiral journey is, you know, I, I, I sort of, I think the biggest piece was just honoring the alignment of my life, honoring my authenticity. Um, honoring who I am underneath these layers of conditioning and patterns and programming and you know the different ways that um, the universe you know the different ways that the world was telling me to behave the spiral was a way for me to really release that and to really vulnerably step into the person I want it to be to step into the person that I am underneath all of these different pieces um, of me <laughs> Uh, sorry about the noise. I am in a haunted mansion <laughs> in Cape May, and I think that they're kind of messing with me. So um, this is this is a pretty amazing stay. Um, so how did this coming into alignment, this huge coming into alignment <laughs> of the spiral, help me? Um, first, with my job, um, I really walked away from an amazing, 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 amazing job with lots of people that I loved but I had to walk away from this career because it was not in alignment with me. It wasn't part of who I was. It wasn't part of, it didn't align with how I wanted to be a mother. It didn't align with how I wanted to be a family member. Um, it didn't align with what I wanted for my life, you know, regardless of the people around me. It just wasn't fitting with my life. And I was good at that job and I love that job and I love those people. Um, but the spiral has this way of really digging deep into who we are and letting us know and, and allowing us to really witness the truth of who we are and the truth of who I was was drowning in a job that didn't match what my purpose is what my vision is for my life where my heart is where my pleasures and my passions and all of those things exist so I walked away from that beautiful job and you know now fast forward when we release things that no longer serve us um, you know the universe 
and, and you know, our higher selves, we start to, we open ourselves up to receive all of the things that we're meant to receive. So, you know, though it was a very hard decision then and, and it really released a huge piece of my identity, um, what I gained from that experience, what I gained from letting that go was, was, is unbelievable. My life today is completely unrecognizable from my life then. And that was just leaving my job and deciding to go into business for myself. Um, so that authenticity piece, tapping into who we are, this really helped me to honor relationships in my life, to honor the people that I loved. It made me really sit back and say, these are the people I want to be with, these are the people I love, um, and these are the people that you know, I've outgrown. These are the people that I don't resonate with anymore, and you know, so much love to them, but these are people that aren't part of my journey now. These are people that um, I am not healthiest when I'm around. These are people that, um, you know, don't match the frequency and energy of what I, who I am and where I want to go. So, you know, I found alignment by releasing a job that didn't match me. I found alignment. <laughs> I love you, Don. I found alignment with the people in my life. You know, I really let go of a lot of people that, um, you know, Sophia bless them. These are people that have are beautiful, beautiful human beings, but they just didn't match the alignment of my life anymore. Um, and that was hard and painful and you know not all of it was very pretty but in the end I'm a healthier person and I love them so much more for being a piece in my life rather than being something that I use as a way to blame my downfalls on and, and to fight with and to complain and blah 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 and with the people that I do love you know being in the spiral and really connecting with that heart space and you know uncovering who I am underneath all of this I was able to really deepen those relationships. I was able to decide who I wanted to remain with on this journey for the moment. Um, what boundaries I have, what boundaries of theirs was I not respecting? How was I codependent? Um, and it really allows you, it's almost like this, this program that forces you, not only just you know, shows you so you can be the witness of these things, but additionally, it's a program where you can't look back because you unravel so much conditioning and patterning, which I'll talk about. You're unable to actually, I'm actually my skin crawls when I'm in a situation where I am not authentically showing up as myself. Um, so this has been a huge transformation with my relationship. So if you are in my family or my friends and I love you so much, and if you have been with me for the past couple of years, I'm sure you've been a part of these transformations and a part of these trajectories where, um, you know, we've talked about a lot of really uncomfortable things and we've really moved through a lot of stuff. And that's a huge piece of the spiral, I think, is really witnessing, you know, letting our authenticity come to the surface um, and feeling, you know, strong and courageous that having that strength and courage to actually come forward and decide how I want to be in relationship with other people and if I want to talk to other people. <laughs> so there's so many ways the spiral has helped me and I think one of the biggest things is I speak up. So right now I'm doing a live on Facebook, I'm doing a live on Instagram and this is so far outside of my comfort zone but I have come so far and this journey with the spiral and this energetic journey that I've been on is, has been so transformational and amazing for me. It feels um, I want to make this is something very important to me to bring to the world. I'm gonna just take a sip while that guy's weed whacking right there. <laughs> so it's pretty important for me to speak up. I know that um, you know that this message is important and that this work is important. And this work, by the way, the spiral, um, this has enhanced so much of my yogic training, so much of my. Um, you know, my angel channeling, so much of the work I was doing leading up to this space, it has just expanded and exploded those pieces and really empowered me to step into this place where I'm able to bring this to the world. I have this worthiness of my voice, this worthiness of my story, this worthiness of, this, of my work, and it feels, again, like my skin is crawling if I don't bring this work to the world. Um, so there's so much more there. Um, I speak up when I want to, and I don't speak up when I don't want to. So that's a really important thing that's happened for me is that I understood that I no longer want to, you know, when I don't want to speak or when I don't have anything to say or when I don't want to engage, I don't. So it's really about me finding myself, and it was really about digging into who I am as a person 
um, and really releasing the stories and narratives and conditionings and patterns and instructions from the external world that was telling me who I was supposed to be. So that was a huge trajectory for me. So when I went through the um, spiral with Leah Steele the first time, I, what is your live title? So this is the spiral. So this is about an energy modality that I traveled to Australia to learn and um, about how I'm sort of reinventing my branding of my work and bringing the spiral to the table. So I did this work with Leah Steele the first time I went through this. And like I said, so there's seven sessions, there's seven levels of the spiral. And it's this, what I really love about the spiral is that it's this beautiful perennial modality. It really is this well thought out, brilliant um, ideology um, that combines spiral dynamics, David Hawkins levels of consciousness, the chakra system, kinesiology, and Chinese meridian medicine. So it sort of brings all of these philosophies together and does this beautiful clearing work um, throughout our bodies to um, move us onto the next, I guess, to release a lot of these old stories that we no longer need. Um, so I jumped in, I bit level one of the spiral with Leah Steele was amazing. This was the root. So all the different levels um, associ are, associ are aligned with the chakra system. So I did the root level and we cleared the three main emotions um, at that level. So at each level, um, there's 22 base human emotions. Um, so these are the different levels of the spiral. There's seven levels. And at each level, there's a handful of base emotions that we're clearing, like grief, like shame, like um, vision, purpose, love, self. You know, there's all these beautiful emotions, and they're not just negative emotions. These are positive emotions, too. Um, but when I did the root level with Leah Steele, these were really heavy emotions. These were the lowest emotions. There, um, and we cleared, you know, we did a root clear, which is something that was, this whole program has been created by um, a gentleman named Dane Thomas um, out of Byron Bay, Australia. And, you know, he sort of pulled all of this together and we went through this level and it's these really heavy emotions and I just felt weighted and I felt really grounded and really connected to my body. And I had released, you know, we went through the different emotions that we were clearing. We went through the different installations because we clear a lot of installations, um, which are, um, you know, when we first experience those different types of emotions, um, which there's a whole lot to this and I don't want to get too nitty gritty on the details, but the first level was beautiful. It was heavy, it was weighted, I released a lot of stuff and I felt really grounded and I felt really in my body. And as a yogi, that was really, um, that alone was impressive to me, that I really felt in my space, I felt centered. It was this first foray into this energy work that I was so unfamiliar with and I just really felt grounded and embodied. I really felt as a part of myself. And it was a new feeling for me. You know, there's a lot of different modalities and work that'll help you get there, of course, but this really did it with very little um, effort, except to have the intention to do this work, to engage, and to really step forward and allow this work to move through you. So um, level one was beautiful, that was eye-opening. But it was level two. It was level two that sold me on the spiral. So. I had my session with Leah Steele and I knew it was going to be a, a heavy level. It was grief, fear, and paralyzed will. <laughs> and if you know me, um, grief, fear, and paralyzed will, <laughs> they're my, probably my big three. <laughs> I love that. Those are my favorite. But moving through those, you know, so we have grief, we have fear, we have paralyzed uh, will. and. We go through these different, um, the, the clear, me, if I was doing this with you, goes through the first few installations, those moments in your life where you pattern yourself. There's three installations where you really pattern yourself with how you're gonna handle things. So, for example, grief. I've had, you know, we've all had grief in our lives. And grief, um, you know, I've bet, I, for me, grief is losing people um, too soon. Losing people that I love, there's a lot of, there was, you know, a huge death in my life, and there was a huge transformation in my life there, but grief is so many different things, but I know that this one grief that I was sitting with was something that I just 
was not processing at all. <laughs> and when we did this level of grief, I sort of expected more of that to come up. But the way we handle grief, the way we handle grief as adults, is sort of conditioned and patterned with how we experience grief as children, how we experience grief the first few times that we do experience grief. Um, and what an amazing, amazing thing to sit with somebody and do muscle testing. So we do muscle testing, we do kinesiology, and we tap into our energy fields together to really identify those first three installations of grief when we're working with grief. And I have no idea what those installations are. I took notes, but I never looked at them again because once it's cleared, it's gone. Um, but none of the stuff that came up with that death that happened in my life, um, what came up were different things that happened to me as a child, as a young child, where I experienced grief and how I was, how I responded to it, how I was patterned and conditioned to respond to grief. And sometimes that's not just the way I responded to grief, but it's the way the people around me respond to grief and grief and how I sort of received that and took that in energetically and used that as my response to grief. Um, so clearing grief made me really witness, you know, ways that I was, the patterns of grief where I didn't cry, I didn't cry in public, I definitely cried. <laughs> I definitely cried by myself in the car. But I wasn't crying in public, I wasn't talking about things, I was literally blocking, just literally blocking these painful memories that were giving me so much grief, see you later Don, that were bringing so much grief into my life and that all had to do with the installations of who I was as a child, of how I experienced grief as a child. So, you know, fast forward, here I am, you know, in my 30s, um, but just went through level two of the spiral with Leah Steele and... I get in my car to drive and I'm on the phone with my sister, you know, no big deal. I'm just doing crazy energy work and heading out. And all of a sudden my heart hurt, just unbearably hurt. My heart was just like overwhelmed, just like fluttering with this unbelievable pain. And I said to my sister, I, um, I feel like, like I'm almost like I'm having a heart attack and I don't reckon, I don't think that this is going to happen to you guys. I definitely was not having a heart attack, but it just felt so unbelievably heavy that I couldn't drive anymore. So I pulled over. And I just breathed and I breathed and I was like, I gotta go. I said, I know what this is, I'm totally fine. And it was amazing because that feeling in my heart that happened to me after level two of the spiral was the grief that I had buried so deep in my heart that I was just burying and burying over, you know, with layers and layers of just bullshit. All of that grief that was buried here in my heart, that was um, the grief that was coming to the surface because when I cleared those first three installations of grief in level two of the spiral, I release them. They're completely gone. I no longer have those patterns. So what happens now is I have to experience my grief without the patterns of hiding my tears, without the patterns of ignoring my, my grief, without the patterns of ignoring my fear that somebody else is going to die or the fear that I'm going to die. You know, all of these things, I just, it was just like this unbelievable release. And what ended up happening was that I became this person who was now faced with my grief. And I had to go home and I had to process my grief. And, you know, we do all this clearing work in the spiral and we release. And part of this is obviously integrating all of this in a healthy way and choosing how we're going to, um, I don't want to say repattern our lives, but sort of it looks like a repattering, but it's this, how do we really want to experience grief authentically? How do we want to step forward into the world with, uh, you know, releasing those old stories, old narratives, old traumas, and really process through things? Um, so that was my level two of the spiral. It was, those two levels alone were so transformational that I literally went home, processed my grief, and signed up to teach, signed up to um, be trained in Byron Bay, Australia to facilitate the spiral um, that day. Um, so that is my sort of my story with how the spiral has helped me and how I decided to become a spiral practitioner. Um, and then I went to Byron Bay to become a spiral practitioner. It was this amazing, amazing transformational um, experience. I was um, in this beautiful country that it was completely foreign to me with 
this beautiful energy of people around me that also was rather foreign to me being from the Northeast, um, this very beautiful group of human beings. Um, and what I really noticed was, you know, the people who had been through the spiral, the facilitators, the teachers, um, and the community of, of people there, there was this huge empowerment. There was this space of vulnerability and authenticity where they just really spoke. They really spoke their truth. Um, they were not, there wasn't, I don't wanna say they were happy and peaceful because they, they were, you know, just, they were just authentic. And I remember being so taken aback by the authenticity of this community. And I thought, this is definitely where I wanna be. This is definitely what I want to do, and this is definitely what I want to bring back to my community and to my area and to, you know, the energy workers that I work with that I know and love. Um, so what a beautiful experience it was to be out in Byron Bay. Um, I did go through the spiral again out in Byron Bay in seven days rather than seven weeks. Um, and I honestly think that a lot of that is really just landing not too long ago. Um, so I brought all of this home. and. How the spiral has changed my life since is you know I'm not afraid to really step into these beautiful healing modalities that are sort of bigger you know you know there these are these beautiful healing modalities that sort of take us outside of the normal sort of at the edges of society the edges of you know what's acceptable um, and I have found that by stepping into the spiral it was a very safe space for me it was a very, it is and was a very transformative space for me and it continues to be a very transformative space for me. Um, once you step forth into this authentic living and once I really released, you know, all of this baggage and these emotional traumas and, you know, I talked about them with my spiral practitioners and, and I allowed them to be released and I did the integration activities, the journaling the yoga, the dancing, the screaming, the crying. When I did all of these integration activities, I really created and cultivated this life that I wanted, this authentic space where I could be myself and where I could speak my truth when I want to and not speak my truth when I don't want to. Um, I really am choosing my life. And that's a very, it's a beautiful and empowering thing. And I think that's where I've landed with my spiral facilitation is my, my, my goal in doing this work is to bring that embodiment um, of self, to bring that empowerment of your voice and the worthiness of who you are um, to the world, opening up your expression, allowing, you know, if more of us stepped forth with our hearts felt truth, you know, that's, you know, we have to do this inner work um, before we're able to bring that work into the external world. How can I love somebody or how can somebody love me if I don't even know who I am that was part of my journey was really stepping into self and identifying who I really was underneath all of the expectations that were put on me all of you know the conditionings and patterns and programming that is there not just from the beautiful family that I love and loved me and did obviously we're all doing the best we can you know my family's doing the best they can um, and I hope that the people around you are doing the best they can. I feel like everyone's doing the best that they can. But there's not just our family. There's, there's this beautiful <laughs> external, you know, there's, there's society, there's commercials, there's who's beautiful, who's not beautiful, who's successful, who's not successful. Um, you know, all of these different things. Who's a good mother? Who's not a good mother? Who's a good friend? Who's not a good friend? What do they look like? All of these things are just complete bullshit and have nothing to do with the truth of who we are. And... For me, finding the truth of who I am is how I sh now how I show up into the world, and it also brings me this this compassion and awareness that you know bringing my beauty to the world, bringing who I am to the world is so important to me that it it allows me to really receive somebody else's authentic beauty. It allows me to really see them with through a clear lens, through a loving lens, and and appreciate their uniqueness and appreciate their individuality and appreciate their story and journey. And if it aligns with me, awesome. And if it doesn't align with me, still awesome. You know, we're just probably not gonna be in each other's wedding. <laughs> if we even have weddings, weddings are also an external conditioning. <laughs> so that is the beauty of the spiral. That is, you know, I, you know, a lot of the pieces I moved through as I was going through the spiral 
And it's the reason I want to bring the spiral back into this area. I've done the spiral with, you know, a good handful of people. I've tagged a lot of my spiral clients, a handful of my spiral clients who didn't mind onto this, this feed so that they would be able to see it and maybe hop in and ask questions or say things. Um, but it's definitely a modality that has a lot to offer and it's definitely something that um, I found to be transformational and I wanted to bring it back into my practice. Um, my practice is about empowering women and men. It's really about empowerment. It's about, you know, stepping, you know, courageously and vulnerably into the truth of who you are, even though it's not always pretty and even though, um, you know, it's probably one of the most courageous things I think anyone can do is to really step into their heartfelt truth and, and understand who they are, their purpose, um, you know, their loves, their pleasures, their peace, their joy, and really bring that into the external world and cultivate a life designed by, you know, their own heart space truth. Um, so this is the first huge modality. Obviously, yoga is hugely transformational, and my journey with, with angels and that be my beautiful Colleen St. Michael and my mentors in that realm, obviously hugely transformational. The spiral is a completely different way of, of moving into transformation. It's a completely different way of energy, of working energy to, you know, come into this transformational space. It definitely is the quickest way to release a lifetime of baggage. I definitely believe that. Um, and how this has affected my life today is that I'm almost an energy modality junkie. I have traveled all over the world because that's what I wanna do. I wanna be all over the world, I wanna travel. I've made that possible and I have worked with different energy workers, witches, different kinds of people, shamans, shamans. And I've just experienced their version of energy work and how they're making changes in the world and how they're healing their community. And those are the pieces that I'm bringing into my practice. Um, at Beth Barling Wellness because those are the things that have been so transformational for me and if I can be a way shower or a light in this beautiful Northeast New Jersey or anywhere because all of this is online um, that's that's what I want my work to be that's what my purpose is it is to bring empowerment embodiment expression um, to the forefront of our lives and I think that by doing that maybe one person at a time just creating that availability, that space, one person at a time. It's my way of stepping into the world and helping to cultivate that peace that I think we are all, that symbiotic, harmonic peace that we're looking for. That's my contribution. So I did wanna just mention quickly what the spiral looks like with me. The spiral is seven sessions, but when you do the spiral with me, um, there is a little bit of a focus on embodiment, empowerment, expression, there's another E word, I forget what it is, so it must not be important for this feed. But when you do the spiral with me, it's a full, it is actually nine sessions. So it's the seven sessions of the spiral and there's two follow-up sessions. Um, and those follow-up sessions are any additional clears that we need. It's making sure everybody's, you know, it's making sure you're fully integrated. Um, it's really a check-in to make sure that everything's okay. Um, you know, my promise in this, my work in this is to really create that space for transformation, to create that space for release. And I wanna make sure that it's done in a really good way for my community and it's done in a good way where I feel really comfortable about, you know, the work that we've done together. So it's more of an integration, follow-up clears and a closing ceremony, the second two um, hour long sessions. So, excuse me, each session is an hour. Um, each, I have designed it to be weekly um, I have lots of different hours that I'm offering, evening hours, weekend hours, morning hours. So they're sort of, they're sort of um, you know, a good smattering, for lack of a better word, of times that I you know, have available to work with people. Um, I send you a, you'll have a list of um, sessions that you can just click on and schedule at your leisure so that you don't have to, we don't have to have any you know, there's, there's, we're cutting out a lot of that middleman back and forth. You can just go on, schedule whatever I have available that works for your schedule. We have an hour long session. Each session of the original seven sessions, we clear three to four of those um, 
human emotions that I was talking about. So each level has different emotions aligned with the different chakras, aligned with spiral dynamics, um, levels of consciousness. So we clear those emotions and then there's a week for you to sort of allow that to sort of symbiotically move into your space and become part of your new reality. Um, and then, like I said, the last two are really closing ceremony items. Um, you do have, you will have access to me through Messenger if you have any questions. Again, I really want this to be managed in a good way and I want everyone to feel comfortable and to move through these processes. My mentor was definitely available for me and I very much appreciated that. So I was able to process a lot of this with her support um, and sort of, you know, her, she was, you know, I would say, I wouldn't say nurturing, maybe nurturing, I would say her support and her really like, she was very sort of direct and I, I appreciated that, that worked for me, obviously. So I have a messenger that's available for us to communicate with for, you know, during the nine weeks that we're together. Um, and I really think that it just is the most amazing journey. So this journey I do with people for $2,000, it's that amount covers everything. It covers all nine sessions. They are one hour long each. They're every single week. Um, and you have access to me through Messenger 24 hours a day. And because I'm relaunching this and because I really want this to be um, a, a sort of corner piece of my business, really witnessing how important this spiral modality is, I mean, I knew it then, but really bringing this into my practice and witnessing how important this is to bring out into the world, I am offering a limited couple of spaces for fourteen forty four, and then a couple of limited spaces for seventeen seventy seven. Um, all of these prices are the same thing. So the spiral is the same no matter what you pay. I'm only offering those two discounted rates, the fourteen forty four. So if you are here and you want to do the spiral, the fourteen forty four is for you. Go grab that. There's only two more spaces I think at the fourteen forty four level. Um, so. Um, I'll drop a link at the bottom of this. Um, if you are on Instagram, you can go to my, um, there's a link on my profile. That'll take you to the spiral. As long as there are spaces available, the 1444 level, that link will work. When that link is expired, I'll cross that out. And then the next link you're gonna wanna use is the 1777 link. And then once that is out, um, that's my special spaces. And then the 1999 um, level is you know, available for anybody else who wants to do the spiral. I can tell you that I did pay more, much more for the spiral when I did this with my mentor, one of my mentors, and it is still worth every single penny. It is worth far more than anything that I paid for this, for this um, modality. Um, so I will drop the link. If you guys have any questions, I invite you to drop any questions in the Facebook feed, message me any questions, email me, however you want to get in touch with me. Um, and check out the spiral. It really is a beautiful, amazing modality. Um, and I wish you all a lot of love and I wish you all a lot of healing. Um, I wish you all a lot of authenticity, even if it's ugly or beautiful, whatever that looks like for you. And if you would love to go through the spiral with me, just reach out. Thank you so much. I am sure. Hold on one second, Facebook. Huh. There we go. Thank you to everyone who watched on Facebook. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting me. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to end this live video.